okay i got like two things so uh first off um tomorrow will there will no not be a chapter for this because one i'll be super busy and yeah and also two uh very much blood and gore and um yandere shit so um please that's a big warning um please don't listen to this if you don't like blood or gore but anyways uh bye guys i love you so much you woke up to the interaction of someone touching your forehead no touch wasn't the word it felt more like a kiss you sat up scanning your bed dark bedroom to see anyone there but there was nothing just darkness you had the same feeling again like last night that someone was watching you you tried to sleep but couldn't you felt uneasy thinking that someone might come up after you soon fell asleep you drifted back to sleep time skip you were walking down the hallway for some reason and felt lost you didn't know where to go where you were going until you accidentally bumped into a purple-haired boy. He had eye bags below his eyes and his hair was fluffy. Oh, I'm so sorry, was all you could say as you immediately went past him and headed to your class. When you got to your class, you didn't make any eye contact with anyone. Just you sat in your seat next to Denki. After class had ended, you were distracted by Karishima who... Knew you fell asleep during class. Hey, Yin, can you meet me at the cherry tree after school? He said with a smile on his face. Uh, sure, you said, and you realized it was already lunch. Uh, anyways, Kiri, I'm gonna go to get lunch. You exited the classroom and headed to the cafeteria. When you got there, you grabbed your food and took a seat alone. Soon Bakugo approached you. Hey, Yin, why are you sitting alone? You looked up only to see Bakugo holding his tray of food. Oh, um, I don't really have anyone to sit with. <laughs> All of a sudden, he placed his tray on the table. You just stared at him blankly due to the sudden reaction. What are you looking at, dumbass? Can I eat with you? He said while trying to hide his blush. He smiled at him and gave him a gi little giggle. Kirishima's POV. Hmm. Oh, look, it's sweet. My little Ian, she's eating. How cute. Is that Bakugo? What is he doing with my Ian? He's talking to her? How dare he? He's not supposed to be with my Ian. Oh, Bakugo. You're going down tonight. <laughs> it was the last lesson of the day and you were tired soon enough you were daydreaming you then felt a pair of eyes looking at your direction it felt like those eyes wanted to harm you all of a sudden your thoughts were interrupted by the bell signaling that school has ended you got out of your seat grabbed your bag and headed out of the classroom you walked towards the cherry tree that karishima said to meet at as soon as you got there you saw karishima he was waiting looking slightly nervous and excited. Uh, hey, Carrie, why did you want to meet me here? He asked. Uh, uh, you see, Yin, I am... Um, how do I say this? Look, Yin, I like you for a very long time already. And I was wondering if you would want to be more than friends. It's okay if you don't want to, though. You were shocked when you heard what he said. That you didn't know what to say and became a huge messing blush oh meshing must eh, i can't speak <laughs> blushing mess i um carry uh, uh, i would very much like to be more than friends <laughs> as you stuttered uh, uh, wait does that mean we're a thing now as Carrie was said excitedly, you nodded your head in response. All of a sudden, you were pulled into a hug by Karishima's chest as you two stood there hugging each other. After your hugging session with Karishima, he decided to walk you back home. Once you got back home, Karishima pulled your head towards him and gave you a kiss on the cheek as he whispered in your ear, I love you, Pebble. You soon became a mess and couldn't stop blushing. You were unable to speak properly as you were settled with your words. Ugh, but Gary! You gave a kiss on the cheek before he left. As soon as he went out of sight, you entered your house and got ready for bed. Once you were done, you hoped 
hopped onto your bed and scrolled through social media and soon drifted, drifted to sleep. Kirishima's POV. As soon as I parted from Yin, I headed back home and changed into a pair of black jeans and black hoodie. Hmm. I was about to get rid of Bakugo that night. As darkness fell, I snuck out of the window and headed to the place where Bakugo lives. As soon as I got there, I put a cloth which was contained by some of chemical on his face. When I mused, he was unconscious. I took him out of the house and brought him to my cabin that I built. <clears throat> In the forest where me and my sweet Yin will live forever together. I tied Bakugo to a chair with chains, making sure it was tight enough so he wouldn't be able to move, knowing him that he would use his quirk. I injected him with some anti-drug quirk that would prevent him from using his quirk for a few days at least. Bakugo's P.O.B. Why did I say that so happily? Goddamn. Sorry for all you Bakugo lovers. <laughs> Bakugo's P.O.B. I pried open my eyes, unaware of my surrounding. My vision was blurry, and I couldn't recall anything that happened. Once I seated my vision, I noticed that I wasn't in my room. In fact, I was in a cold and dark room that only light where it was coming from the moonlight that was shining through the window. I tried moving my limbs, but was unable to. They were tied up by... Ch chains and their chains were fucking heavy for fuck's sakes as i struggled to free myself from the chains i tried using my quirk but it was gone as soon as i heard the door open i stopped moving as i then was greeted by a manical laughter oh katsuki bakugo your struggles are just music to my ears it's a sadistic voice which was so f somewhat familiar who the fuck are you and what the fuck do you want from me you manic bastards i yelled oh bagago that's not a nice way to greet your best bro i was excited at l expecting at least a hi that voice it's kirishima's kirishima what the fuck happened and why the hell am i here i question him. oh bakugo you seem to have wronged me and I would punish you for that, he said, sounding like a fucking sadist. What on earth did I fucking do? He turned around, and his expression has changed into looking deadly. It looked like it could kill anyone. His eyes even glowing, and his mouth was grinning from ear to ear. Oh, Bakugo, you're so naive. Since you're that dumb, I might as well tell you what you did wrong. Hey, bastard, I'm not dumb. I yelled at him. He just chuckled. Seriously, what the fuck is wrong with this dude? He need to go to a fucking mental hospital. You, Bakuvro, what you did was that you talked to my sweet Yin. And I don't like that. What the fuck is this dude? Is he messed up? I just talked to her and he fucking kidnapped me. What the hell, bro? All I did was talk to her, and you happened to kidnap me for doing so. What an actual fuck are you insane or something, Kirishima? I asked out of some out of nowhere. He started laughing like a manic. Oh, Bagu, bro! Not only that, you also have a crush on her. It's so obvious that you like her. I just can't let you get away with it, especially if it's my sweet Yin. He whispered the last few words in my ear. Damn, this dude is crazy as hell. Now for your punishment, you're going to be tortured until I choose to kill you. He said with a smile as I look at him walking to a tray of tools. Oh, which one should I pick? Pliers, a sledgehammer, or the knife that I just used. I'm going to have to give that I just used to stab Uraka in the stomach. Oh, look, what if a hammer? Some nails into your fingers. 
One by one, doesn't it sound great, Bahu bro? As he turned around with a huge smile, didn't respond to him. Honestly, I didn't even know how the fuck to respond to fucking Manic. I can't believe my friend was an insane person who killed Uraraka. I swear, if I make it out of this alive, I'm making sure this shit gets reported. Anyways, let's start with the project now, shall we? The faster we move one, the faster your pain will end. Isn't that right, Baku bro? Silence. Uh Uh-uh. Well, we shall see if you could remain that silent once I start hammering these nails of yours. Oh, that got really fucking dark shit. Karishima's POV. I grabbed what I... Sorry, I might... Oh my god, I'm gonna put some real warnings up in this. I grabbed one of the nails and aimed it at Bakugo's index finger as I started slamming the hammer against the nail. I could hear painful groans coming from him. Honestly, I was enjoying it. His bane was my pleasure. Aw, Bakugo, aren't you gonna be in pain? Why don't you stop being prideful for a moment and just let it go? I know you want to scream because of pain, so just do it. As I said, taking pleasure from his painful expression, as I continued to hammer the nails into each one of his fingers, his groan slowly became into screams. Ah, fuck, Karishima. That shit hurts as hell. (laughs) Fuck, you little shit. He couldn't stop yelling and kicking his legs. Once I was done hammering the nails, I took a... Good luck of my masterpiece. I had created blood that was dripping everywhere from his hands. Oh, how satisfying it is. I couldn't help but smile. Well, well, well. Looks like you're one of my best creations, Bakugo. I dragged him out of his chair and brought him to the basement where Uraka's body was... Sadly, her head was gone. How pathetic. I chained Bakugo to a stick for support, making sure... He is in a standing position, which I made sure the chains were tight enough. I checked his pulse to make sure he was still alive. Apparently he was, but mostly unconscious since he lost a lot of blood. I left the room and locked it just in case. I snuck back into my room and quickly changed and washed my blood-stained clothes. Luckily, the blood wasn't noticeable. I quickly head out to wait, wait. Way to visit my yin, like what I always do every night. When I got there, yin was fast asleep. Aw, look how cute my baby shark is. I pulled myself closer to her and took a big waft of her scent. You smelled so good. I'm so glad you're finally mine. But I know no one can take you away from me. And we can spend every second together. And whoever dares to steal you away... I will make sure they regret it.